people here decree We've the right to life and liberty We're all created equally in America And we're going to live here happily in America Our founding fathers crossed the seas And built the new world colonies The King George wouldn't say Hi, my name's Diane. You're currently watching the Just Kenny Round Show. We're so glad you could join us. I'm thrilled to welcome Alex Young. Hi, Alex. Hi, Diane. How are you? Uh, fine. Good. And we're, we're thrilled you're, you're here tonight. Alex is a, um, I want to call him world-renowned, but he insists he's locally renowned. But that's, that's <laughs> not true, because I'll, I'll tell you stories about this guy throughout the program and um, we're very very lucky to have Alex living in our community so well, thank you yeah we usually would start our show by looking at the camera and giving a shout out to somebody okay you go first or me go first? first hello the students at Lydia Hawk South Bay hi to Mr. Feeney and hi mom so like say hi to my grandsons Brady and Hunter in you know, Olympia and then also my granddaughter Grace and my grandson Alex in Minnesota Oh, Hi. Oh, I didn't know they were so far away. Yes, they are. We just got back about two weeks ago. Oh, we'll have to make sure they get a copy of this. Well, send them, I'll make a copy and send it to them. Yeah. Today we're going to be doing watercolor. So Alex is an artist, but you don't just do watercolor. You do other media, work with Most other media. Most of watercolor. For last Mainly watercolor? 40 years or so, yeah. 40 years. I did some oil every now and then. But yeah, you did an oil show with us one time. Yeah, twice. Yeah, where you erase yes. the pear. I yes. remember that. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So now behind us, these are watercolors? Yes, they are. They're watercolors. It's hard to believe. They look like photographs to me. The detail you get is amazing. And we opened on, um, which one? Did we open on the rodeo one back here? Oh, right now. They have, um, I think Joe, somebody has up, or Jerry has up these ducks. Are these mallards? Wood ducks. Oh, they're wood ducks. Right. Oh, sure. I should have yeah. known that. And do you take a picture first? A uh, combination. I got several pictures that are used for reference and then the background. So you do take a picture. Yeah. Oh, we left our ducks already. Right. Can we go back to the ducks? I want to talk about Thank you. So those are wood ducks. And you did take a picture first? Right. And where was this picture taken? Uh, on the uh, parks, different ponds and stuff like that. Locally? Then, yeah. You saw these? these yeah, guys? this is one of the uh, Christmas cards that we did several years ago. Oh, it's a Christmas card? Well, we do one every year. Oh, I gotta get on your Christmas card list. Yeah, you see? It's oh, so so every year you do a drawing and you turn it into a Christmas, Christmas card? card? Yeah, I send a Christmas card to everybody, yeah. Oh, how wonderful. Okay, before you interrupt you, maybe what you do is telling what we're gonna do. We're gonna get half an hour, right? Yeah. So I'm gonna do something here on the paper, paint, okay. paint, painting. And then we should talk about those. I mean, you want to do that first? I can, no, I can multitask. We're going to multitask. We can talk about the thing. I can talk about it. Go, go ahead and talk. I can talk to you now. Okay. Well, um, so, well, I want to talk about painting now. Well, so right now you're putting water all over. What kind of paper is this? Well, we're going to do something different now. We can just stuff flubbing paint on it and see what happened here. Okay. But what, what kind of paper is this? It it's looks, watercolor paper. Watercolor, but yeah. it looks like it has... Um, it has some kind of, not a watermark, but what is this? That's the archers, made in, handmade in France. Oh, it was made in France. Yeah. So this is fancy oh, yeah. watercolor paper, handmade in France. Yeah, well, and you're putting a wash all over the background. Now, how come you're not doing the entire piece? Why have you just taped well, because, off? Because I'm, I'm uh, going to know what size to make this to fit in the frame. So I just do it the same size. The size that we're fitting the frame. Oh, so you decide ahead right. what frame you're going to use. Yes. So what I'm doing right now, I'm just slapping some paint on it, you can see. And you know what you're doing, though. Well, I hope so. Because <laughs> right now, it's blue and yellow. So do you have that image in your head? Uh, you see what? So now the wind is dry. And then we'll... Uh, I don't know what it is, but I know you're sure to very quick with that um, 
Okay, right. now we can talk. I'm waiting to dry. Okay, so we'll let it dry now. Right. Okay, so I'm going to guess that you, that's not how you did those wood ducks. You didn't just do a wash <laughs> and do all, did you? you no, did, did no. you draw that first, right, the wood uh, ducks? I detailed draw each wood duck, everything, all the feathers and the beak and the eyes, everything's all detailed drawing first. Okay. So if you look at all those paintings that you see here, all the paintings I have, uh, those are really it's a like coloring process. All right. So I draw every detail. Like you look at the one with the with the horse here, everything I'll draw out. You know, every detail done drawn out. So then I just go back and color it. So I mean, one brush stroke at a time. I mean, anybody can do that, right? One brush stroke at yeah. a time. I mean, so it's a completely different technique. Completely than this. different technique. Yeah. Okay, but these two are watercolors. They are watercolor. Yeah. All right, yeah. and you detail draw them. Yeah, yeah. And you do usually take a picture? Or uh, yeah, I actually took that picture, yeah. You took that picture? Right. Where, where, where was that taken? Oh, the Ellensburg. Oh, the Ellensburg Rodeo. No, well, this is a one of the, uh, uh, this is the trial that they were doing. Oh, yeah, the practices uh, right, or whatever. Practice yeah, practice. yeah, whatever they do. And, uh, yeah. so. and so you just take a picture and. And, yeah, and then just pick out the best one you want and, okay. and go from there. And do you have your work in galleries? A uh, couple galleries. I don't do that much anymore. Really? Yeah, it takes too much time. I'm retired. Can, can, may I tell our audience <laughs> a, a few things about you? Sure. Uh, the, is it true that um, at least twice the uh, governors, the, the governors every year, they have an annual governor's convention where all 50 governors come together, right? Right, right. And twice, at least twice, they've done it in Seattle at the Seattle Convention Center. Three and times, actually. Three, three times? times. Yeah. And did you do their poster all three times? Yes. Oh, I only knew about twice. So three times they've commissioned Alex to do their official poster. So that's pretty amazing. So that means you are the artist that represents Washington State, really. Yes. That's a pretty pretty big thing. And then all the governors go home with the poster from the convention? Yes, yes, yes. I'd love to see some yeah. of those posters. Next time I bring one. Would you bring one? Yeah. Do you have pictures of all the different states, or? Oh no, no, just basic local scenes. Base, yeah. basically Washington. And, uh, and then, of course, I did a Washington State Ferry poster too for. Okay, so that's another 20, thing. Besides being commissioned for the governors. Twenty-three years. For twenty-three years, well, you've done I, the I ferries did, poster. I, I painted everyone of everyone the ferry poster, every ferry terminals. So every year there's a poster. Well, and then the end of nineteen ninety. So they don't do it anymore. Well, I finished the whole every. All the oh, you finished the series. The series. So for every ferry out there, there's a poster. Terminal. Oh. Ferry terminal. Yes. I'd love to see those too. Oh, well, can I bring one too? <laughs> I'd love yeah. to see your ferry drawings. Yeah. And then um, also every time a uh, a building's paid for with um, is it federal dollars or state. State monies? I think the state has a provision for that. Yeah, the a provision? Rent. Okay, and 1%? One, one half, one depends on what project. What some, the project is? Some are one half of one, some are one percent. Okay, has to go towards some, a piece of art. So right. I know, I know, um, you know, sometimes you see different um, statues around town. Right. But you did fish. You did, what was it, 30 fish? 32 bronze salmon. 32 bronze salmon. Yeah. And they're up on... Um, I-90. I-90 up by Factoria. That's Factoria, right. And I still haven't seen them. But I have a lot of video footage of the right, process right, of right. making those. Yeah, that was fun. Yeah, so amazing. He's very talented in sculpture and... Primarily watercolor, right? But oils too. So actually, I'm right now the windy dry. I got my hair dryer, hand, hair dryer, so I can windy dry. <laughs> oh, so you actually use hair dryers? Well, to speed up the process, I will be here until midnight. <laughs> We're gonna be here till midnight. If I, if I don't get to dry, you know, I gotta get oh. it done. <laughs> well, okay. We have other things we can talk I know about. We can talk about, yeah. We can talk about lots of things. Your grandkids? Yeah. Are they very artistic? Uh, I think Hunter is, is really interesting, uh, real interest in art. Uh, he, uh, quote unquote, uses my studio at home. You know? <laughs> and he got his own studio, which is mine. And, uh, yeah. And, uh, and Grace, back in Minnesota, she really liked to love the art too. So. 
What kind of art do they do? Well, they, I mean, Hunt is only six, and yeah. Gray's only four. Yeah. But uh, they they can do a lot of drawing, real bold drawing for being six, six four year olds. Uh huh. And they being afraid to do it, you know. And, what about your kids? Well, in the early days, I think uh, David showed some interest, and in, in, but uh, kind of going to wayside. Is that right? You know, Not so much. It's one of those things, uh -huh. you know. So either pursue it or go to wayside. Or you don't. Yeah. yeah. Well, how old were you when you realized you were you had talent? Well, I don't know how many talents. Uh, I've been doing this for f fifty. Oh my goodness. Seven years. 57. Something like that. Alex, I didn't think yeah. you were that old. Yeah. So when you were very young, right. you found out you were talented. Did somebody teach you or was it a natural Just talent? natural. And, uh, and so you're all self-taught. Yes. And you know, I, live, I live in Hong Kong for 10 years. I when grew, you're little? I grew up in Hong Kong. And okay. so being in Hong Kong, you don't, we don't have a lot of Activity like you do in this country. Oh, know, is that right? right? Well, I mean, they, now my grandkids in baseball, oh, flash yeah. footballs, and all kinds of activities. Yeah. And back there, you know, we just don't have any activity. So during summertime, so I do just do art. And, and uh, I uh, just seek out the people that, like the teacher, run the teacher in school. In the you know, summertime, I just went up to studio at school and, hey, you know, hey, I want to learn how to do things. And okay, you know, so he taught me things. and. Yeah. And uh, I seek out a lot of people. Even, even after I moved to California, uh, I, I seek out artists that, that I admire. You know, I yeah. Ask, I say, so you just ask them. I go, hey, you know, like one yeah. of the Vern Pasco up in San Luis Obispo. I said, Vern, you know, I really like your work, you know. So, okay, you know, I'll show you how work with done. So. Wow. You were lucky to find people yeah. willing to teach. And they were lucky and probably thrilled to have a willing student. And then just uh, a lot of try and error. Mm -hmm. Then I also do a lot of look at other people's work, you know, like if you look at zooming that one over there, kind that thing over there, there, that one with the, the tree. tree? Yeah. yeah, tell us a story about that well, one. Well, that one's a Nesquale. Oh, the Nesquale? Okay. Well, yeah, I think I got a, the tree is actually there. Still there? Oh, well, it's actually a tree there. You, you'll find a tree there in Nesquale. Uh -huh. And if you look at that painting, it, a lot of people kind of relate that to more like Andrew Wyeth type painting. Oh. Andrew Wyeth's probably, you know, the prolific American artist. Uh -huh. So I kind of influenced by a lot of his work, you know, basically it's just very stark, very So simple. he influenced you more than any some, other artist? Some, some, yeah. Okay. It you know, depends what, what, what uh, type of painting I'm doing, I suppose, what something matters, you know. You know, I do recognize yeah. that. That as the delta, that, right. that's like, the, is that like the rookery? Is that what you call it? Where the blue herons are behind it, sort of? The what now? Never mind. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, anyway, but so I, it does look like it very much looks like the Delta. Yeah, it's so yeah. so it depends what type of painting I'm doing, I kinda of influence. Okay. By. Well what about Cowboy here? That reminds me, isn't it Charles Charlie Russell that was also well, I think Charlie Russell's more uh, doesn't have much detail. I think Fred Remington probably more details. Oh really? And, uh, so you have more detail in yeah, your work well, than Charles Russell I does? I, I probably have the advantage having you know the aid of a camera, so I can take pictures of things. You know that I can. Well, Charles Russell, given what I do it visually, you know, without the benefit of using the camera. So, oh. so but that's really. So quite, he painted a long time ago. He is really remarkable for what he. I oh, I that. see. So you're saying it's easier to get detail now oh, yeah, yeah, because of so. the yeah. camera. Yeah. And years ago, artists didn't have that advantage. Right, right. And, uh, and, and also, you look at Evans' painting, it's almost like normal world, world time painting, normal uh -huh. world well. It tells the stories, you know. Yes. And same Charlie Russell, every painting kind of tells the story. And uh -huh. It's really it's, uh, quite a historical, captured historical histories. Uh -huh. uh, we were back there in the Cody, Wyoming last summer, and we visited the Cody Museum. And that was really good, you know, see some of the Western art and they really captured Oh, it. so they had more than just one artist. They had oh, a yeah. lot of different That Western. particular museum, yeah, he has... Uh, in Wyoming, Wyoming, you said? I, I think it's in Wyoming. Is it Cody, Wyoming? I think it's Wyoming. I don't know. But it was a Western, okay. And was yeah. it all watercolors? Or no, no, different? no. You gotta, it, 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 uh, that's the Buffalo Bill Cody's Museum. 
And he has a section devoted not to just firearms. I mean, every firearm they ever made in the United States. Is wow. There. And then all the TV, the so TV all show. all kinds. Well, all the TV shows, you know, all the. Uh, Trigger? Was Trigger oh, there? No, all the TV shows uh, like Bonanza. Yeah. Have gone to travel. All, and, and all those people, where they would have. Uh, they would have all the, some of things the, represented yeah, there. Yeah, the guns that oh, they wore. That would so be an interesting museum. I've never heard of yeah, that. Yeah, that's pretty interesting. Huh. And uh, and then also devoted a uh, bunch of paintings. Uh huh. And some of the are uh, and quite not one of them is from John Clymer. He's from uh, Ellensburg area. He's from Washington. Area. I don't know him. I haven't heard yeah, of him. Yeah, he's really. He's very famous. Very. Probably are you the famous. most famous? Me? No. Washington oh, artist? Oh, no, come on. No, no, no. Um, you know, I, I know the cameras are now in your work and that you're resuming your, your wash, would you call that? <laughs> yeah, go ahead. I'm just doing right. Okay. And he took a bit of a pause to let it dry. So with watercolor, is that what you normally do? Let things dry between right. layers? Right. You can't work nonstop. Well, the reason is because right now, see, I can't get a, I can't get a sharp edge. Right. That's why I got windy dry. So an advantage of oil, I remember when you did oil paint our show, you just went nonstop. Right. You didn't you didn't have to wait for anything well, to I, dry. I suppose I could have done that too if I do a what do you call it? Like a dry brush technique that you do it when the painting the paper is dry. Uh-huh. Oh, but this is called a wet brush it's technique. It's more like yeah. Okay, so there's different techniques with water right. color. See the thing you can see that I cannot get a sharp uh -huh. edge on it. Because the fact that it is, you know, well, that's everything's... okay. We're gonna be happy with whatever well, you do. But um, I want to go back. My my favorite of all these is the one that I've called Cowboy. Okay. I don't. What does it have a name? Do you name Will. your Will? That's his name. His name's Will. <laughs> he lives there. So you name your you name. Well, your I mean, that's what's the name. I was just with name him Will. He lives out in uh, by the, the Tri Cities. Oh, his name really is Will. Yeah, his name is really oh, Will. Oh, like uh, Will Rogers or something. Yeah. Because even that shine, I, I don't know if it's on the camera now or not, but that shine on his pants, I mean, the whole thing just looks so real, and the detail in his face, all of your work is amazing. But this is just, to me, unbelievable. That should be in a gallery. All of your work should be in a gallery. <laughs> but that is just so much detail. How, much, how long did it take you to do that one? Oh, I think it probably took like maybe like oh, 30, 40 some hours. 40 hours? Yeah, because it, it on some like they it just build up a lot of layers, like to the horse. Oh. You just don't use the dark yes. brown. You start oh. with a light color and build it darker and darker. So you get oh. a lot of depth. So if you look at it closely, there's a lot of different colors on it. So you didn't just oh, say, well, give yeah. me the dark brown paint. Right. So, so many, many layers. Yeah, normally everything, very seldom. He looks so real. Yeah, every time you, that you, horse you, looks you know, so do, real. You do painting, you don't use like black, really doesn't exist. Uh huh. So you use some really black. I use like probably six, seven different colors to make black. Well, dark, dark. Yeah. You know, and it get it come across as black. What do you mean black doesn't exist? Well, you can buy black. Well, for instance, here I'm like, okay. Well, I don't know if I can show this, but for instance, here, like, okay, this is blue, right? All right. Okay. Like, yeah. Okay. So compare that versus, I'm mean, gonna use different color. I mix them all up. So that's darker than the first one. Well, what we get away did. So why can't you just use black paint? Why can't you just... Well... It doesn't look as real or something? Yeah, black is very flat. Oh. You know, uh, it's very flat, so you want to make something that looks like black. Yeah, than just, use you black. just lay, lay a layer of color over it, you know. And that's why the horse was done right. that way then? Right. Okay. And uh, so that's probably like... Oh, I would say yellow ochre, burnt sienna, burnt umber, and then also paints gray. Yeah, you ever so. Yeah. What if somebody wanted to get a hold of your artwork? How would they do that? Uh, or they just wouldn't? No, I think it's, <laughs> it's not for sale. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they can look to me on the phone book. I'm in the phone book. 
You yeah. are? Yeah. I have a hard time finding you. I know, there's four Alex, there's four Alex <laughs> yeah. Young. Just find there's me. a lot of Alex Youngs, kind of like those. Diane Miller. Yeah. You know, that would actually make a nice card, too, like a, you know, you know like a writing card. You know what we're going to do? What, do you want me to hold it up? No, I'm going to turn this upside down. We only have five minutes. Five minutes, huh? Five okay. minutes. I'm going to turn this upside down here. So what do we have? I don't know. Well, the brain is so dry, so I'm going to turn this upside down. Okay, we're going to do some real okay. fancy. It's not a horse. I know that. Time? Hmm? I'm running out of time. No, I'm just trying to figure out what this is. And you have two minutes to finish it. What's that technique? No techniques. <laughs> it's more like a building. See the roof? No. You see the roof? No. Right here. Okay. See the roof? Yes. See the siding? Not really, but I'll see it. <laughs> I'll see it. So the, the, the audience is looking at it upside down, correct? Yeah. It's okay. Would you rather freehand like this or draw with pencil first? Well, it depends on the... On the, you get a time constraint, kind of. Okay, now you can see. One minute to finish this. Well, this is the roof. Is the siding of the house? Is the side. and there could be outbuildings. And that's the what now? So this could be in front of a pond by the lake in the mist. Misty morning. Misty morning, that's the name of this? <laughs> is this the reflection in the lake yeah, yeah, of the this house? Is, yeah, this is well, just a lakeside reflecting so the sky. So it's a lakeside view. It's a house. sky that you don't so see. So should we turn around so they could see it? So the, should we hold it up so the audience can see it? Uh, I suppose we could. Anyway. So this is. Where'd Alex go? I can we? Okay. Yeah. And you can see here's a roof and here's the siding. And imagine this like a misty uh, fog, mist, or fog something. in the morning, you know, yeah, and here's morning. a reflection. Yeah. Okay. And those could be just outbuildings or just whatever you got. Outbuildings out there. in the background yeah. or something. Could be anything. And now, how much longer would it take to actually finish this if you were going to complete it? Uh, I'd probably take another an hour or so. Another hour yeah. or so to put it all together. So right. this is sort of the, the beginning of... Well, normally I wouldn't... Yeah, yeah kind of. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, thank you so yeah. much for coming in and letting us interview you. And, and I'm so glad you brought in your other work, too. I, I really um, am amazed at your talent. Just beautiful. And I'm going to have to get on your... Christmas card list, that's for sure. Is this supposed to be sitting that's fine, up? That's fine. Or, you want it there? Yeah. To kind of leave it at an angle? All right. So 
We're going to say goodbye now. Okay. It's hard to believe. That was a quick half hour. I know. Time flies, isn't it? A good time? I know. It sure does. You have to come back again sometime. We will. Maybe Saturday. with this and finish it, huh? I will finish it. Yeah, that was <laughs> we, a good idea. Yeah, finish we it. We could turn it into a series. Yeah. Let it dry and then yeah. bring it back. So thank you so much for joining us. Thank you to Tom Dubuque, who's in the control room right now, and to Jerry Julian. And we also have a new cameraman. His name is Joseph Neal. So we thank you, Joseph. And, of course, thanks to Alex. Thank you, Diane. Bye. Bye. Join us again sometime. Just kidding around, show. We the people here decree you the right to life and liberty. We're all created equally in America. And we're going to live here happily in America. Our founding fathers crossed the seas and built the new world colonies. But King George wouldn't set them free, so they fought a revolution, the American Revolution. Oh, we the people here decree, we've the right to life and liberty. We're all created equally in America, and we're going to live here happily in America. The English army came in boats, it was buckskin versus bright red coats. Then the Yankees won the war and wrote our country's constitution, the United States Constitution.